Hello, everyone, and welcome into Coach Craig's Sports. This is the NBA DFS Corpic video for today, Wednesday, January 31st. If you're joining me for the very first time, this is the way today's video will be structured. We will not be having a recap for yesterday's pick since I was unable to make a video yesterday. Kind of had some unfortunate things happen the night before, which kind of took up some more time and things just didn't go as well as they probably could have. So I kind of didn't have enough time to prepare for the video in the morning. So long story for another day, but... Uh, no recap for today overall. So we'll get started off with the injuries in play. It's going to be a nine-game main slate on both sides. There's 10 games in total. The last game of the night is a 10 o'clock Eastern game, which is an hour and a half after the rest of the game. So that one will not be on the main slate for either site. And then after that, we'll get moved over to DraftKings and FanDuel and talk about my core picks on each site. So it's going to be one player at each position, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. But without further ado, we'll get started with those injuries in play for today's slate overall. Once again, nine-game main slate, 10 games in total. The only team on the back to back today is going to be the Chicago Bulls so that's the only one we're really waiting for an injury report as the day moves along. We're going to get started with the Detroit Pistons. Isaiah Stewart is out for this game, and Cade Cunningham is listed as probable. So we'll see who ultimately starts in Isaiah Stewart's place. They do have Azar Thompson listed here. It's probably going to be like Kevin Knox, honestly, and then he'll play like 12 minutes or something, and then we'll kind of go from there. But uh, we'll just kind of have to see as the day moves along who that ultimately ends up being. Not really like too much value that is opening up from that overall, though. And then on the Cleveland Cavaliers side, we got Ty Jerome and Tristan Thompson both out once again. But Darius Garland is listed as questionable for tonight's game. So, so he's been out for quite a while. Obviously, he had that broken jaw. So we'll see whether or not he ultimately ends up playing tonight or not. Probably just kills off the Cleveland Cavaliers value altogether. But we did see Evan Mobley return in their most recent game as well and play like 21 minutes. Then we move over to Clippers, who are without Zubak and Diabate once again. So no real changes there whatsoever. For the Washington Wizards, Isaiah Livers remains out. And Landry Shamit does join him today. So there's probably a couple extra minutes opening up off the bench in Landry Shamit's absence. But I don't think it makes too big a difference on a nine-game main slate overall. Once again, Chicago Bulls on the back-to-back. -back, so we'll get their injury report as the day moves along. For the Charlotte Hornets, we have Gordon Hayward, Kyle Lowry, and Mark Williams all listed as out once again. And LaMelo Ball is listed as doubtful for tonight's game. So we'll see what type of starting lineup they ultimately end up going with. Last game, you know, they went with a pretty big lineup with no traditional point guard. So that was kind of interesting to see. And then we do have Miles Bridges also listed as probable to play for tonight's game. I believe it's an elbow injury he's dealing with. Then we move down to the Sacramento Kings. Sasha Vachenko is listed as questionable once again. He's been out for a little while with that ankle injury. We'll see whether or not he's ultimately good to go tonight or not. And then for the Miami Heat, just Duncan Robinson out for tonight's game. We did see Jaime Hawkins return pretty recently for them. So he probably get back into a bigger role as he gets healthier and kind of get worked back into that rotation overall. Don't really expect too many changes here for the Miami Heat team overall, though. And then for the New Orleans Pelicans, it's really just Herb Jones. This is questionable. We'll see whether or not he plays tonight or not. Obviously, if he doesn't play tonight, then there's going to be a minute's uptick for Trey Murphy just in general. Maybe a couple other guys off the bench, but Murphy would be the biggest beneficiary overall. Technically, they have Hill listed here as questionable, but he's down in the G League, so we're not too worried about that either way, though. For the Houston Rockets, Tari Eason and Victor Oladipo both remain out once again. We did see Jabari Smith Jr. return in their most recent game and play pretty big size minutes in that game as well. Then we move down to the Dallas Mavericks, probably going to be a big value spot on today's slate overall. So we got Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and Derek Lively all listed as out. So you got three starters out right there. And then we got Dante Exum and Derek Jones Jr., both listed as doubtful, two guys that have started a handful of games for this team this season as well. So you're looking at Jaden Hardy, you're looking at Tim Hardaway Jr., you're looking at Maxi Kleber, Dwight Powell at that big man position. Somebody's going to be a pretty good value on this slate overall. And then, you know, guys like Josh Green or Grant Williams could have some upside games at the same time as well. And then on the Minnesota Timberwolves, we got Jalen Clark out once again. And then Mike Conley lists this questionable with that hamstring injury if he's unable to go. Looking at Nikhil Alexander-Walker once again today. Then we move over to the Orlando Magic. Just Gary Harris out for them once again, so relatively healthy at this point in time. For the Spurs, Zach Collins lists this questionable. He's missed like their past three games. And then Kellen Johns is also listed as questionable. We'll see whether or not he's able to go tonight or not. I would lean towards the side of him playing, but there is also a chance that he ends up missing, so could open up some minutes for someone else there off the bench. And then for the Denver Nuggets, we got Kankar and Strother both listed as out for tonight. Nikolai Jokic is listed as questionable due to a back injury. 
If he misses tonight, DeAndre Jordan's going to look like a great play overall and probably one of the better cash game plays on the day in general. Then for the Oklahoma City Thunder, we got Isaiah Joe and Jalen Williams both out for tonight's game. And then we got Chet Holmgren, Shai Gildas Alexander, and Lou Dort. All this is questionable. So the only healthy starter right now for the Oklahoma City Thunder is Josh Giddey, and that's the guy they like playing the least amount of minutes. So it could be a lot of value opening up on this team overall as the day moves along. And then we move down to the Phoenix Suns. They are without Damon Lee once again. And then we have Bull Bull and Grayson Allen, both listed as question ball tonight. Obviously, Grayson Allen is the newest one there. If he doesn't play, then you might see Eric Gordon re-enter that starting lineup. Or, you know, it might be a guy like Josh Koji or one of those other, like, four guys that they have that are all pretty similar players. And then for the Brooklyn Nets, Dorian Finney-Smith remains out. Dayron Sharp. They have him kind of listed here as a doubtful, but he remains without a timetable to return. So safe to assume that he's out once again. And then Ben Simmons is probable for tonight's slate. He ended up playing 18 minutes on Monday and came up like two rebounds shy of a triple-double in those 18 minutes. So quite the performance for him. Wouldn't expect it once again tonight. But, you know, a guy that is going to be kind of interesting, but on a minute's limit just in general. And then for the Milwaukee Bucks, they appear to be all the way healthy at this point in time. First time we've seen Giannis without a probable designation in quite some time, it feels like. And then for the Portland Trailblazers, Moses Brown, Shane Sharp, both out once again. So no real changes to be had there for that Portland Trailblazers team overall. But with that being said, it's a quick little rundown on all the injuries in play for today overall. As always, I will be posting all the injury updates as they do come out throughout the day, as well as the starting lineups as they do get announced throughout the night. So definitely make sure you're checking back in down in the comments as we do get closer to lock. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my core picks over there. So we're going to start off at the point guard position with Jaden Ivey. He's $4,400. You're looking for at least 22 points out. It's not the greatest matchup in the world versus the Minnesota Timberwolves, but there is no Luka Doncic. There's no Kyrie Irving, so he should be in that starting lineup alongside Tim Hardaway Jr., and there's just not a lot of great players left for this Dallas team overall. He's a guy that's not afraid to take his own shot anytime he wants, so the usage should be there just in general. Currently, I'm projected for about 28 fantasy points tonight. Definitely has a pretty strong upside for more, and you know, there's a little bit of downside for less, you know, if he goes out there and doesn't shoot the ball well, which we did see once earlier this season. And then we move down to shooting guard with Jalen Green. So somebody that's been playing really well as of late. A little bit tougher matchup tonight against the Pelicans, but $6,500. We're looking for 33 points. Adam. Averaging 31 on the season, he's been on a tear as of late. So, you know, the day when we jump on this is probably the day that's going to fall off. But do like him quite a bit tonight. Currently, I'm projected for 34, 35, kind of modestly. But if he's playing anything like he's been as of late, should have a ton of upside for more at the same time as well. Then we go down to small forward with Jimmy Butler. He's $7,200, looking for 36 points. Sam. He's averaging almost 37 on the season so far. Has not been the greatest year for Jimmy Butler whatsoever, but pace up spot versus the Kings. Been playing better as of late, so definitely do like him quite a bit tonight. And you know, kind of with their current situation, he's almost like the de facto point guard for this team overall in a way. So that primary ball hander setting everybody else up should be a pretty good spot for him overall. Currently, I'm projected for 39 tonight. Definitely could get you a little bit more than that at the same time as well. And then we move down to power four with Jabari Smith Jr. at $5,700. Looking for 28, 29 points. Um, he's averaging 30 on the season. Not the greatest matchup in the world versus the New Orleans Pelicans, but, you know, if he goes out there, if he's playing decently well, if he plays the big minutes that he did play in his first game back, I don't really have too many concerns here. Currently, I'm projected for 32 points tonight. Could have some upside for more. Could have some downside for less at the same time as well. Then last but not least, we're going down to the center position. This is just going to be kind of whatever cheap center ultimately ends up being here. So if Chet Holmgren's out, it might be Jalen Williams. If Nikolai Jokic is out, it's definitely going to be DeAndre Jordan. And then... You know, with Derek Lively being out, there is also a chance that it could be Dwight Powell or Maxi Kleber at the same time as well. So right now I have Jalen Williams here. He's the flat minimum $3,000. Would assume that he does start in place at Chet Holmgren if Holmgren misses tonight. In that case, I would have him projected for about 22 fantasy points, but definitely could have some upside for more as well. Could be a very interesting matchup, you know, if Nikolai Jokic and Chet Holmgren both ultimately end up missing. You know, kind of in that same game, we got Jalen Williams and DeAndre Jordan at that point in time, and you could probably get exposure to both of them to kind of save some money at that center and utility position and pay up at other spots as well. But with that being said, if you go with the five players that I do have listed here, you have $23,200 remaining, just over $7,700 per player. So a good amount of money left over. You can definitely pay up for a stud if that's something you want to do. Although the studs are kind of murky today since Luke is not playing. And then Nikolai Jokic and Shai Gildas Alexander are both listed as questionable for today. So we'll kind of see what ultimately ends up popping up there. Maybe you're getting to some guys in that $9,000 price range instead. But going to make for a pretty interesting slate overall. 
But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Fandle and talk about my core picks over there as well. So on the Fandle side, pricing's a little bit tighter just in general. So we're going to start off at the point guard position with Kobe White today, $7,600. You know, typically had been doing pretty well without Zach Levine in the lineup so far this season. Been a little bit slower since Levine's gone out this last time. But a decent spot today versus the Charlotte Hornets, especially considering there's probably no LaMelo Ball. So who knows what lineup they're rolling out there at this point in time. If Kobe White goes out, has a pretty decent upside game, could really pay off at a $7,600 price tag. We're looking for 38 at him. Averaging 32 and a half on the season, obviously was a little bit slower start to the year, but then came on strong. So if he can do that once again, do like him quite a bit tonight. Currently, I'm projected for 39, 40 points just in general. Then we move down to shooting guard with Jaden Hardy. He is $5,100, so a little bit more expensive on the Fandle side. We're looking for 25, 26 out. Currently, I'm projected for 27. Definitely has a little bit upside for more at the same time as well. You know, with no Luka Doncic, with no Kyrie Irving out there, he's going to have some freedom and flexibility to really do what he wants today overall. And the same thing could be said about our small forward option in his teammate, Tim Hardaway Jr., $6,400. Looking for 32, Adam. Currently, I'm projected for 34 tonight. So these two guys for the Dallas Mavericks pretty much going to be able to take their shot whenever they want. So definitely do like them both quite a bit tonight overall. And then we do also have another Dallas Maverick here at Power 4 with Maxi Kleber. I assume that he's probably going to get most of the minutes. It could be Dwight Powell. We'll ultimately see who ends up starting. Should be a pretty interesting situation. Maxi Kleber did play 22 minutes in their most recent game, although he didn't do a whole heck of a lot in that game. So could be an interesting spot for him just in general. $3,800 looking for 19 points at him. Currently, I'm projected for about 21 tonight. You know, if he doesn't get the start, then maybe it's somebody we pivot off to, especially if we get some other news throughout the day that makes somebody else look a little bit better at the same time as well. And then last but not least, we're going down to that center and kind of pay down spot. Once again, we got Jalen Williams at this point in time, $3,900. Once again, if Nikolai Jokic is out, this pick will be DeAndre Aiden. You know, it could be, you know, like Dwight Powell as the day moves along. It could be, you know, if you want to play Maxi Kleber here, you could do that as well. It just kind of depends on all the injury news as it does come out throughout the day. But right now we got Jalen Williams here, kind of assuming that Chet Holmgren will miss today for the first time all season with his ankle injury. But, you know, Oklahoma City could be without him. They could be without Lou Dort, Chad Gildas Alexander, and then obviously Jalen Williams and Isaiah Joe are both out. They could be kind of shorthanded. So why not give your young center and Jalen Williams some extra run tonight? Could make a lot of sense. Obviously, if it's him versus Nikolai Jokic, it might not be as pretty. But, you know, him versus DeAndre Jordan could make a pretty interesting option overall. And I believe Jalen Williams is also power forward eligible. So, so if we get the situation where both Chet Holmgren and Nikolai Jokic are out, you can still play Jalen Williams and DeAndre Jordan together if that's something you really want to do. And with that being said, at $3,900, you're looking for nineteen twenty. dollars I'm currently having projected for twenty two twenty three on the Fandle side tonight overall. But could definitely have some upside for more at the same time as well but with that being said if you go with these five players that I do have listed here on the Fanduel side tonight you have $33,200 remaining $8,300 per player so looking like a pretty good slate to pay out for once again although like I said on the DraftKings side a lot of these high-end guys are either not playing or questionable to play tonight so it should make for a pretty interesting slate overall obviously we're going to be paying attention to those injuries as the day moves along so that we can build the best lineup as possible but with that being said, these are my core picks for both Fandle and DraftKings for today, January 31st. As always, if you have any questions related to NBA DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. I do ask that you please note whether those questions are more Fandle or DraftKings specific, just so I can best help you as quickly and efficiently as possible. And then as always, I'll be listing all the injury updates down in the comments below, as well as the starting lineups as they do get announced throughout the night. And then, as always, my updated core will be out probably about 15 to 20 minutes prior to lock. It might be out, you know, like 10, 15 minutes before that. Just kind of depends on the news, kind of the timing of when we get it today. But that will be left as a pin comment. If there's any other additional changes after that point in time, I will leave them as a reply to that pin comment as well. But with that being said, if you're brand new to my channel, checking out for the very first time or have yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS. Right now, we just have NBA DFS Monday through Friday in terms of the core pick videos. And then with that being said, if you're interested in getting into sports betting, if you're interested in getting the prop betting whatsoever, be sure to check out the links and promo codes down in the description below for BetUS, Prize Picks, and Parlay Play. If you are a brand new user to any one of those three sites, when you sign up, you make your initial deposit, you will get a first match deposit bonus. For price picks and parlay play, it's 100% of your initial deposit up to $100. For BetUS, it's 125% of your initial deposit up to $2,500. So some pretty great opportunities to be had. 
And then with that being said, if you have any other additional questions related to sports betting, related to prop betting in general, feel free to reach out to me, whether it's down in the comments or on Twitter at Coach Craig Sport, and be more than happy to help you with that journey as well. But with that being said, that's all that I truly have for today's video. Definitely do appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. Definitely means a lot to me. I hope that each and every one of you have a great rest of your day and some pretty good luck in NBA DFS tonight.